So of course I wanted to get my phone, my camera more accurately so I could record a little video with the backdrop of the skater boys. And they must have known because of course I come back out and they've stopped skating <laughs> and I walk out. As I just said, I repeat myself and um, <laughs> they're sitting apart from each other, like waiting for Godot. And one of them goes within my earshot. Are you looking for my SoundCloud? And the other one goes, are you looking for my SoundCloud? <laughs> Meanwhile, what I came on here to say was beautiful fall day here in Glendale, the Armenian quarter of Southern California, is that I love nothing more than to hear the sounds of youngsters performing and perfecting their tricks. That's why I'm a teacher, yo. And an actor. Because actors are also teachers, right? Here's the tea, my friend. Lifelong learning. A rabbi, yes, a rabbi. A rabbi taught me that is the key to life. Lifelong learning, AKA, you gotta keep trying to land your tricks. And when you master one trick, move on to the next, right? This is why gaming, <laughs> let me not be so sarcastic. This is why gaming is useful on the one hand. Right? You know who got their start on SoundCloud too? Fetty Wap, right? What do you think? I tried to fucking go viral. I wanted to see if I could match Fetty Wap. And I couldn't because I'm the king and the queen, it turns out, of the behind the scenes. <laughs> anyway, the point I'm always trying to make is it's nice to land tricks that have some social value, or at least, as we've come to think, some of us, at least in terms of neutrality, right? Can we just not create more harm in the world? Can we create more beauty, right? Can we create more education? Right? <laughs> I mean, did I already say this? If I have, it bears repeating. And if I haven't, let me say it for the record. Poor Kamala and Barack, right, are struggling to win black male voters, I read in the papers. Not that you should believe everything you read in the papers. In fact, according to um, The Witch of the Wastes, in Howl's Moving Castle, which I watched last night, revelatory. Some of us remain anti-war in this world. Only idiots believe what they read in the news. That's true, my friends, because only idiots are writing and producing the news. But that's another story for another day. Let me not digress. Let me stay focused. Like the Ford trained director. I am the director of my own life, right? I mean, if you want to win the vote of black men in the Union States of Israel, maybe on the one hand, you should stop killing them when you're not incarcerating them in the United States of America portion of the Union States of Israel. And maybe on the other hand,
You should stop killing their brothers and sisters and mamas and papas. <laughs> In the Israel portion of the Union States of Israel, this is a work in progress, like my life is, right? I don't know, prison reform is a good thing, right? Um, also, it bears repeating over and over and over again that when you're convicted of a crime, like, black men are highly, 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 highly disproportionately convicted of for reasons having to do with terms that we're no longer allowed to use in the Union States of Israel, such as racism, white supremacy, apartheid, settler colonialism, all the things that have documented histories going back centuries and centuries and centuries and centuries. Wait a minute, I lost the thread. All right, there's the number 420. I live over there at 418. Behind me is Columbus Elementary School. It really is elementary, my friends. California, California, dreaming on such a winter's day. Well, I came to California to avoid the New York City winters, and boy, I became the quarterback of my life. It's any given Thursday now, right? Because it's any given day now, people. I entered the portal when I looked into my beloved's eyes. And all these years later, I finally see the world well, a version of it. I finally see the world as he does, and it's... Well... It's gorgeous. On Earth, we're briefly gorgeous. I could write a series of letters to Arthur. That would be a wonderful frame narrative, but you see Ocean Vuong has already done that. So, I'm working on another gambit. Say what you will about Barack and Kamala as I bring this monologue to a close. They're both products of so-called miscegenation, right? Meaning their mama is from one quote-unquote race and their papa is from another quote-unquote race, right? That's why so many white people continue to freak out, right? They think they're being infected by shades of blackness, right? They're disgusted by shades of brown. When it's like, that's just a person's skin tone. And yet, it's been wetted and welded and wielded as in through by all the prepositions. I know where I am in space. Safety comes first, my friends. If you don't have a license to drive, you're not allowed to drive. 
If you don't have a license to lead, you're not allowed to lead. If I don't land this right now, I'm gonna give you a dollar. I'll take that bet. The stakes are so low. I just want my longtime therapist, David. Yes, I called him by his first name. I said he was my therapist. That was a therapeutic act. As David always said, Safe emergencies. Or a wonderful way to act as if and then consolidate the learnings there. Back to education. As I recently posted to X, me, I'm waiting for the first black mom raised president. Because then maybe people can start to get the resources they need in this so-called country and everywhere around the world. I'll make this my 13th day. I'm not voting. On the American election day, I haven't since, I don't believe, 2008. The year I was in Mile High Stadium. To experience Barack's acceptance of the Democratic nomination for president. So you see, Brock's destiny and mine talk about wedded together. Did he land that truck? Were you paying attention? If not, guess what? You can rewind the tape. That's called History, my friends, a.k.a. a replay. We don't accept lying in professional sports. So why do we accept lying in professional politics?